Hi, I'm Scott Humphrey, CEO of the World Floor Covering Association, and this is Leadership Live. Thanks for joining me. So as I've watched the news lately, there's been a lot going on from a global perspective that causes me to look at leadership and what's important to create a calming effect among those who look to you for leadership. And there are a few things that stand out. Let me take you back to some research I've cited previously from Dr. Albert Moravian at UCLA University. Dr. Moravian was trying to determine why it is that people trust you. What are the things that you do from a communication standpoint that cause others to determine that they will trust in you? He found out that 7% of trust comes from the words that you say, simply the words. 38% comes from the way that you say those words or what he called the music. In other words, you can say, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Same words, different meaning. But he found out that an overwhelming 55% of your trust, your believability, comes from the actions that accompany those words. Here are the actions that are essential in moments of crisis or simply when people are looking to you for leadership to give them a calming factor and to bring everything back into scope. The first thing I would tell you is important is simply your presence. It's important to be there. You need to be visible, you need to be there. That assures people that you've got this, you're in control, and your calmness helps to create their calmness. In moments of crisis, it's nothing more important than simply being visible and being present. I remember a quote from years ago from a friend of mine, she said it was her favorite quote, and she it simply said, be present where you are, it's the only place you can be. That means that when you're present, you're not distracted by your mobile phone or any other mobile device. You are locked into what is going on at that point. The second thing that I would tell you is important to create this uh, calming atmosphere and the need for leadership is passion. When you do speak, speak passionately about the things that matter to you. To convey, uh, certainly to get across the point that these things are important and that you have them under control. And that leads me to the third thing. I would tell you that patience is another thing that is vital, especially during moments of crisis, because the things you're reacting to are often changing in a whim. And you've got to be willing to say that no matter what happens, we're going to get through this together. It's also, and the last thing I would tell you, it's vital that you let your team be part of the success. In other words, look to them, rely on their strengths to get you to a place of calmness and to get you to the next step in accomplishing your vision. So a quick recap. These things are important to create a calming atmosphere during moments of crisis or any time that you simply need to refocus your goals, your presence, your passion, and your patience. Now go out there and lead.